Look at the name on the wall. Jeff FM. I'm the host of that. You, okay. sir, okay, are the bro. second guy in Impulsive. Whatever, bro. And you are basically the George of it. Look, he walked. He walked. He walked. He used to be out Jeff on the corner. Him. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do. I, I haven't been doing the deep voice at the end of it. That's what I forgot. Man, it's good to be back. Uh, yeah, I'm pumped up. It's good to have you back, guys. We got a super special episode today. Mike is back from Australia. He's gonna be talking threesomes that he had out there with Australian models. <laughs> well, now he's gonna be talking that... about uh, Logan's success in Prime that they did a UFC event out there. All types of fun stories. We also have a surprise guest, an ex co-host, co-worker. And even some would say friend will be yes, back um, here today you know um we're gonna get into that in a little bit because first off we want to start this off nice and fun bro I, i've been so used to pushing uh jeff's barbershop and prime i finally got a product bro and i i, I want to just mention it <laughs> guys i did a, a a partnership with culture kings i did clothing some people even ysl wittick is saying potentially the best creator clothing ever Cool, yeah. Uh, since we're plugging ourselves, I got a haircut yesterday, <laughs> and look at this. I look like I'm f***ing 25 years old again. Yeah, you do look really good. Deal with it, haters. You want to call me old? Call me grandpa. I'm talking to you, Kyle. I look younger than you. I look about as young as they do in this mug shot. Wait, how did you get this? This isn't available in America. I'm on the mailing list. I don't even have this. Try it out. It's all right. I don't want to. I don't have any equity. What's the deal? You, call, sure you called me up last night and you were like, yo, Prime's killing it, man. Uh, I wish I started a drink. You want to start a drink together? <laughs> kind of like that. Is that. I don't remember saying exactly you that. You could say. What's going on? Are you happy to be back? Yeah, I'm happy to be back, bro. It was a long trip. It was uh, exhausting. I was in Australia for 12 days. I had never been there before. I ran into some of your 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 people out there. Actually, some of the some of your fans watching this episode, I oh, ran yeah? into. Yeah. I met a thousand people. I wish I can remember her exact name. Oh, Mema. Mema. What was it? Mema. 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 It's an intelligent audience, Mema. not as intelligent she, of a of a person they're a fan of. I never guess. ever argued that to be the case. I'm a f I'm an idiot, Jeff. But they showed up for my for my Culture Kings store uh thing with the clothing and they brought me cookies. And we brought the cookies all the way back to America, and they were delicious. Shout out to Mima. She's the one who made Mima, those. She baked them. For the fans. Mima. And then also when I was at the UFC in Perth, there was a, a kid who had a Jeff FM thing on his phone. See, that's the thing nowadays. That's how they show love, the fans nowadays, is they have a thing on their phone that, like, you could write on. Yeah, let just... me airdrop you that video, Oscar, because this was a nice thing that I saw, and I, I had a lot of FOMO because I wasn't there on that trip, obviously, and you were there with all my... I asked you, I invited you to come. I, I don't remember that, but you were there with all my biggest supporters, and, um, you know, it just sucked to not be there. I had FOMO big time on this trip. Yeah, so huge stuff going on. You guys sponsored UFC. It's not you guys. There's no you guys. I didn't sponsor anything. Did you get free tickets, at I, least? I, yeah, we, I sat front row as a, as a hanger-on. It's great, dude, as a, as a... Like, you know, remember we were talking earlier about how you have the motorcycle with the sidecar? I'm yeah. in the sidecar. This is me like, woo! You know what but I'm saying? But at least you get to go for a ride in the sidecar. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And I guess I contribute. You know, I mean, obviously, I've been there since through a lot of stuff and been a, been a okay. helper that got <laughs> it to this point. But it's just weird, you know? Like, you can't say it. People come up to you and they're like, sign my prime. Yeah. Like, why? I'm, why gonna, do you want I'm me just going to make it worse, less mo worth yeah, less money. Yeah, why do you want me to sign? Do you know what I write on it? Zero percent. Zero percent equity. I've read it on every one of them. You shut your mouth. KSI, Logan, crushing it. Major partnership with UFC. Yeah. It's a huge deal. I'm sure you're sick of talking about it because you make no money from it. And, you know, no, people just no, ask you about no. your friends. I was with you earlier today. We went to the gym and we got paparazzi in the parking lot. And the TMZ lady came up to you and she was like, hey, who's going to win Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? And it's like a running thing. Like, you know, nobody asks how Mike's doing. Nobody's yeah. like... You know, oh, that's your new merch? Oh, cool. Well, what's, what's the deal with the UFC and Logan and Jake? And, you know? Yeah. So I guess we're here today to hear about what's going on with you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about those threesomes that you had out there. <laughs> come on. It's How did it happen? Did they come Why up to you? We, and let's, just, let's just... I'm actually happy that you're doing this because I never really get a chance to talk about the stuff on Impulsive, the show that I co-founded with Logan because it's always, Logan did a front flip over the rope and... 
hit someone in the face yeah, with a yeah, bottle yeah. of Prime, and then UFC picked up a wrestling fight with Jake Paul and Tommy. F you know, well, I guess what? Today we're talking about Australia. We went to the continent, the country, continent country of Australia, and we went to four different cities. We went to Perth, we went to Sydney, we went to Gold Coast, and we went to Melbourne. And I have to say this right off the bat, Australia may be my new favorite country. Wow, what a place. If you had only taken me up on that invite when I invited you to come on the trip, you really would have been in for some fun in the sun. Also hung out with this girl, uh, Michaela Testa. She's big on, on why just smirk and make a little- Is fish. that Australian Tana? Is that the one that- <laughs> Is that what you guys are calling her? No, yeah. that's what the comments are calling her. Yeah, this girl's got, is like a bit of a thing in Australia. Yeah, she seemed like she was popping. She was popping. a big deal. Popping. So like, so like, she was dating this. There's this girl, uh, Anna Paul, who who is like the biggest only. You know how like the number one OnlyFans girl in any country is like popping. Yeah. You know that's like a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, she's number one. So she's number one in Australia. Another Paul. Yeah. Drink Prime, and um, she and Michaela was dating. This girl's brother, and I think Michaela was like already doing her thing, like whatever, but then started dating this girl's brother and, it, and she like blew up, right? And so she does these like TikToks and stuff. And, and I don't know like her whole past, like before it, but like evidently there was like a whole bunch of dramatics with her and like that and like controversies and like. Would she throw a convention? In no, Australia? I don't think there was a tan too many people just, showed like, up. A lot of, nah, just like a lot of, <laughs> just a lot of controversies and. So I didn't really know what to expect. And I know when I was going there to hang out with her, like Corinna hit me up and was like, yo, are you meeting Michaela? And Olivia O'Brien was like, are yo, are you meeting? Mich like, she's like a thing on TikTok. Oh, they they're like, like her? Yeah. Well, yeah. They're like, they're just intrigued. That's the word they use. They're intrigued, right? She made a, a mini vlog of you on TikTok. Yeah. And it made you look so cool. <laughs> Do you want to pull, pull it up? I'm, I can I'm, use I'm playing it up right now. Oh, see, let's go. It was just you like talking to these celebrities and these but, UFC yo, champions. But yo, you want to know fucked up? That actually is what I'm like outside of my content and podcast. Yeah, but when you have to film it yourself, it's lame because you're 38. No, and but you're, it's you're not. Like, yeah, correct, correct. And you have to talk to the camera. All right, night shift. We're here with this guy. And the but guy's bro. like, yo, I didn't know you're vlogging this, bro. I don't want to be on a YouTube channel. <laughs> bro, listen to me. The issue is, it, this is an issue that I continue to, can you continue to struggle with, is that like I don't know how to portray like my actual self that you know from, the, like, from when we go out, and which is like this like, Oh, look, here we go. Him. He looks like a f***ing lobster. This is so burnt. I cannot believe he's in Perth, Australia right now, and he's taking photos of his food like a dilf. Also, I stole Mike's gum, and I mixed it yeah, with Yeah, you Mike's look cool. Gum. And I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this on Depop. I'm going to start the bid at $250,000. Alicia and I are drinking margaritas. Depop. This is my I got big into Depop forever, since you left. This is a really I'll tell you about Mexican that later. That I have a really big crush on, and I'm probably never going to see him again. While we're eating, the valet downstairs crashed two Lamborghinis yeah. into each other. The Australian boys love Damn. Mike so much, I just kept hearing, you're a sick c word over and over again mike's oh twerking in the yeah, casino you, room. we go to the atm and there's a 400 dollars limit which is like 300 dollars usd so we grab our 400 dollars each and then we decide we want to go play actually ended up flipping this 400 dollars into something mike sees a two dollar fifty table Damn. and he's like what the Elijah is just a smoke show tonight and Mike is telling me how much he wants to marry me and if he had a ring right now, he'd be proposing. And then we decide we want to go to a club. I have not been to a club in, I think, literally years. The amount of C word I've heard tonight, I'm drinking vodka orange, these girls are hot, Mike brought some blonde milfs to the booth. Look at you, As, bro. No, I don't drink. I'm doing shots. He's drinking you. Red Bull. He's twerking. The police are here. This is the club we're at. Apparently, this is the most poppin' spot in Perth. I'm getting free massages up in this bitch left, right, and center. I don't know why. Now I'm drinking vodka Red Bull. Honestly, I need to go home. Look how wow. cute Mike is. He got me a rose. Just telling me he knows it doesn't matter how hard he tries. I'll always love my ex boyfriend. <laughs> and then he got up on stage and Look told you, bro, you're just like seeing a party yeah. at a club and in Australia. Going crazy. And then we yeah. Home. All right, well, I'm out of it. Turn it off. I don't, none of this matters. Damn, she, see, she did a perfect job of her portraying mini, you. Because they're mini vlogs, bro. So it's like, okay. When we vlog, we even even though we cut ninety percent of the garbage out, she's able to cut ninety nine percent of the garbage out. It's just anytime someone looks really cool, you just use one percent. Anyways, all that aside, so I, I I finally get to meet her because I'll be honest with you, like we had been following each other on Instagram, we had been DMing a little bit, and she's I, you probably can't even show her Instagram on the show. She's fucking hot, dude. Like she's like very equipped, like just a smoke show, right? So I didn't really know what to expect. Turns out she's super cool, super down to earth. And I don't know like what's going on behind the scenes if there's like dramatics and shit. she was super chill, dude. Anyways, Perth. Perth. You probably wouldn't ever go there. Can it's we, all the way can, across can, the country. Look, yeah, you want to speed it up? I, I, no, no, Prime, I don't, I don't, Paul, I don't, I don't want you to Fury. speed it up. No, 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 listen. I don't want you to speed it up. We could get there. We'll talk Jake Paul, Tommy Fury in a little bit. But I have somebody waiting. 
Yeah. In the green room right now. This is a big moment in Jeff FM history. This always happens to me. It's, I apologize. I know you're going to talk about Australia. We'll get back to that in a little no, bit. No, we're not going to. It's all right. Guys, if you're in Australia, thanks for the great trip. Drink Prime, Tommy Fury. Look, over the years, you guys have seen me grow. <laughs> You've seen me go through a lot of stuff, a lot of different friendships, a lot of different relationships. Some of you guys didn't like Mike at first, and then I forced him down your throats until you guys found him somewhat bearable. And then Tana as well. I groomed her comedy career and made her funnier. <laughs> and in that time, I had to lose some people for whatever reasons that maybe we'll get into after he comes in. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get it going. Spotlight. This is a big deal. You know, this show has done maybe 80-something episodes now. And we did a lot of trial and error. I've had a lot of friends pop in. Some people have became recurring guests. Some people that were on it a lot more, they, they haven't been around. And some of you guys may like that. Some of you guys may miss the guy and want to have him back. So, you know, we all decided that life is short. Friendship is important, especially in the business we are in and the town we live in. It's important to keep your close friends close and don't let them stray off into the Hollywood drug scene, partying. And then he ends up in rehab and, you know, he's got a drug problem, career fails. It's kind of like Jackass with Bam Margera, you know, like he's our <laughs> Bam. This is our Bam and we are here to help him today and bring him back on here and make all of his problems public for you guys. Is Andrew David, David, oh, whoa, 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 do you even see that on the camera? No. No. Bro, what? <laughs> he is back. Wow. <laughs> Steven, you're out of frame. Oh. He's not in front of any camera Dude, right now. Dude, you're not even on camera. <laughs> you're so rusty. Nobody even sees you. Get in the chair. Get Or do the bit where you're going to sit next to Mike and you're going to attack him naked. We had so many good ideas. And that's what you came in with, a somersault? That was actually camera? That was awesome. <laughs> but nobody gets to see it. We're going to have to recreate it later for the shot. <laughs> Talking to your mic, you dumb idiot. What happened to you, bro? Look, I'm already insulting you. You came back, we said we're gonna be nice. <laughs> well, no, I tried to do a front flip, but then I was like, I'm, I'm probably gonna hurt myself really bad doing that. You were gonna go I don't think it's in worth it air, that much. front flip? Yeah, but I don't think it was, it was that worth it to do that. You think I you're capable of pulling off a front flip? No. <laughs> the somersault is pretty impressive. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over this stuff. You're looking good. You're looking limber, thin, lean. He hit me up the other day out of nowhere, and he's like, yo, can you follow me back on Strava? I was like, what? I don't even want to hear this now stuff. Now you're talking my language. I want to I want to see him in action for like a couple minutes and just get a read on him to see how he's like changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't know if this was like a setup to for him to come in with this new fitness talk and maybe he's like, oh, the, Jeff will like this and he'll relate to me this way. So I'm going to get in with the fitness talk. That, that could be a good plan that you did there because you see I got Mike back riding bikes. I got Tana sober for like a month Get me now? Back to shit. I got you back. Are you nervous to be back here? Oh, I'm not nervous. I just don't know what to say. A little <laughs> awkward. <laughs> a little awkward. Well, what have you been up to? Working out, riding bikes. Yeah. For like one day. Okay. I just got a bike today. I've been riding. Well, any... talk about what you've done over the past four months that we've had no contact, no speaking. You did a mental health break. I, was, I told the audience that because they were asking in the beginning, maybe one episode, they were like, Where's Steven? And they just forgot. Yeah, I just wanted to like. I just want to kill myself. I was just not happy. Well, not okay. Maybe not literally. I should probably shouldn't say that. Well, did no, you, you can did you if feel you actually like, wanted to. No, no. If you're gonna say stuff like that with serious mental health advocates like Mike and myself, let's be serious about this topic. Then, okay. were you really thinking about unaliving yourself, or did you just not not want to live anymore? Can be, can, sorry, do you have to say that? That like that, bro. I'm already on thin ice. Every video is yellow dollar signs on this channel. Oh, is that what is the c word it? every time. We need to make a little money. God. So. Were you thinking about not aliving yourself? Well, I think everyone does thinks that. I don't at some think point. that's the case, man. Well, at some point, if they're having a hard time, they'll like be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, do want to do it," but they never like going up doing it. Like, I, at least I didn't. No, I mean that's you like didn't a, actually do it. No, I wouldn't actually do that. But I was like not happy with myself, so I was like, I need to get my life together. I need to get my shit together. What was it that was causing the the problems? What was what was fat? Wasn't healthy mentally because i was fat and i was just eating junk food didn't exercise uh i moved into a new house and i got really comfortable and i was having like the time of my life so i was drinking like every single day it was like insane. hanging out with the wrong crowd bad influences hanging around. Out with people that maybe not be you know influencing me they're kind of just keeping me where i was so um 
Yeah, I just had like a realization. I don't know. I, I ordered Popeyes in my bed. At like, <laughs> or sorry, I ate uh, Panda Express at 2 p.m. So much Panda Express. And then I got so full that I had to sleep. And I went in my bed and took a nap and then woke up like seven hours later at like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. And then I was hungry again. And then I ordered Popeyes <laughs> butt naked in my bed. I didn't even get up, door dashed it. And then I, I grabbed my Popeyes. I ate it. And then I felt like I had to throw up. And I have my mirrors or like my. I have my, my closet who has like the mirrors on it and I was like laying in my bed and I look over after eating the Popeyes and I was so disgusted at like what I looked like. I was like, what are you yeah. doing? You got your sheets what? duct taped up to your window and your little jerk off dungeon. No, no, Just this is really... my new. Oh, you got a new place. Yeah. You moved into a mansion. I, well, I thought that would, that would, that's not a mansion. It's a house. I thought it would, it would help like with my mental health. It just made me so comfortable and lazy. So I didn't do anything. I wasn't uploading. I was eating like shit. Felt like shit. There's just absolutely zero motivation. I just didn't care anymore. I did not care. My mindset was, I'm over it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want. And then, yeah, I got to a point where I was like, I, dude, this is not fun. Like, I need to get my life together because I also got hit with a, I don't even know if I can talk about that, but like, uh, I got hit with a, I'm, I've been procrastinating on this deal I did, and I don't want to get sued for a lot of money for not oh, completing it. Oh, that deal it. that you had told me that you were all excited about. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they spent all the money on it. Damn. Oh, I all of it. Damn. And then I didn't do it. So now I'm in a position where I have to like do work triple. Bro, that's just so... Just I don't like ever get paid up front for brand deals. It's, it's just fuck. so wild to me because I actually remember the day that he came up to me and he was so proud and like excited about this deal. I, I remember hiking, this yeah. like very well. And you were like, dude, I just want to like let you know I just got the biggest deal in my life. Like I'm so excited. I'm so amped and like, you know, ready to, to work for the next like I think it was like a forty eight month contract or something like that. No, it was six months. <laughs> it was like, but you were but you were pumped on it. You were super amped yeah. up and like motivated and and then and then blew it all on Coke. On hookers. everything. Yeah. yeah, no literally. <laughs> Prostitutes, hookers, strip clubs, <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> one brand deal. One it brand went deal. downhill so fast. Okay, so long but, story but short. But also, that's like a coming to age, like Hollywood story. Like I can't imagine that the, you just went through it here. Like we all have gone through that, bro. <laughs> Like your Popeyes was my Percocet. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. Percocet was his prostitutes. Like you know, uh, what was my vice? Violence. Crime, violence, violence, violence yeah, yeah, probably. Today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right at your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Remember those New Year's goals you promised yourself you'd stick to? HelloFresh is here to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door, taking the hassle out of dinner time. Get HelloFresh and skip that extra trip to the grocery store and the long checkout lines. Spend more time doing the things you love with delicious chef-crafted recipes delivered straight to your doorstep. I've been using HelloFresh to learn how to cook because I've been eating takeout for so many years. It's great for me. A uh, guy like me who's a triathlete and I am an endurance athlete, so it's very important I get the proper fuel and I wasn't doing that before. I was just working out like a madman and doing everything wrong. Do things right, get HelloFresh. Check out HelloFresh for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash JeffFM65 and use JeffFM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash JeffFM65 and code JeffFM65 for 65% off. Get HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Well, long story short, Steven, you told me around Christmas time that you weren't feeling good. You want a time away. You want a mental health break to figure yourself out. And then you left us and then you hit rock bottom right after because we didn't have the proper guidance from us anymore. Well. <laughs> what was it? I just was already well, going through that's it. That's kind of what I, I got left. from that. That's, yeah, that's what. That's <laughs> well, I say it was rude from you. I was just. I don't want to be negative. In that setting, when I was. Look, here, I miss. So I, I miss your your face, seeing you around. So I'm happy that you chose to come back, and you're doing better now. Well, I have a funny story yeah. uh, about that time when he left for the holidays to take his mental health break away from us. So he <laughs> essentially just quit and ended our relationship for you know, or put it on a hi hiatus, which you know could have never came back. He goes home. And his dad's a real funny guy. That's where he gets it from, I, I think so. Um, his dad mm. got him a gift. Now, I don't know if you remember from my half Iron Man where I printed out all the logos on my shirt and made it like a sponsor, a bunch of sponsorships in my friends' companies and stuff. Yeah, I remember. So his dad it's did like that Brian. with all of our brands. He put the night shift on it. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing He that. put Jeff at them. Yeah, yeah. He put Jeff's barbershop all over it. But this is right when our relationship ended. So he had to be on Christmas Day opening the gifts and be like, oh. oh. I had to fake it because he didn't know anything. My dad's like the biggest Jeff fan. My dad and my right. uncle, they like, 
love the show, so I couldn't say anything. Look at the shirt. He put it on his on merch. The, on the sex shirt. <laughs> he probably yeah. pissed him off so much the night shift. Day. He put the night shift on <laughs> Dude, I don't even ask <laughs> me if they <laughs> well, yeah, There's 20 of them. Like, bro, I could probably he get 20 shirts I could and probably get, 20 shirts. I could probably get sued for that because I have a collab with a clothing company and I said it was exclusive, bro. Yeah, well, it's not exclusive. There you go. Everybody sex. buying that Culture King shirt. <laughs> this was the original night shift merch. Yeah. And there's 20 of them. We should do a giveaway. Yeah, what the? If fuck? anybody wants that shirt. But 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 do you feel better? <laughs> do you feel better right now? Like as of today, you look like I feel you look so a shit much better. Ton. I don't think you could have done that front flip that you did like three months ago. Yeah, it's more like a roll. You look a lot better. I'm ha- I'm happy that you're that you're better because I bro, you know I always I always liked you and you're. A good you're a good dude your videos are great you're talented and you just needed to sometimes you just got to take a step back from the blow and the hookers you know what i'm saying and i know i yeah. know was, i know you got in with with a group of tiktokers dude and those kids are those kids can be dangerous i'm yeah, not i'm not naming all, any names no, but i'm just saying tiktokers in general you know anybody anybody what it all stems from your physical <laughs> health that's why i realized because i started working out that was the first step before career before anything like it was working out, like just getting your physical health going, so which helps your mental health. Can I butt health. in here? Yeah. Can I talk which about a good the mental physical, health men- mental, career. mental, physical health? So listen, I didn't really show this, and I do a good job of high <laughs> oh dog damn. What is this? This is my yeah. bro. It's cheap as steel. It's not cheap, bro. You know what's funny, here. Steven? You asked for that, and then you left, and you never got to use it. That's yeah, your first time. Yeah, you got a it. mic stand. Oh, it sucks. Dude. A few months ago, give me the sad music because what you gave Steven before. A few months ago, I was in one of the darkest spots in my life. And that's where Cody came back into my life and he got me to do the Iron Man. And I got into training something new, not just my normal routine or going to the gym and half-assing a workout, having an actual regimen, being on a plan. Now, there were days where I woke up and I didn't want to get out of bed. I wanted to go back to sleep. Or like Steven said earlier, yeah. unalive myself. Yeah. What'd he say? Kill yourself. <laughs> you and yeah, now that <laughs> Yo. now that uh you know I, I, I have this these three new hobbies, I always have something to do every day. So I have to get out of bed and stick to my hobbies, otherwise I lose that momentum and I don't want that to happen. You were talking to me about this last night. I go Bro, put the fing mother fing mic down. Dude, are God you out it. of your fucking work. mind? No, now you're back to the old Steven. Bro, Bro that could be a oh. trigger for him. He literally looks exactly the same broke. again with the mic. Yeah, bro. I know, I know. Yo. I'm sorry, I really didn't. That might have been the only thing that changed. I thought he was like all thin and looking good. Fuck. And now as yeah, soon as he has the mic care. back like that, he's all fucked Whatever, up. Whatever, right? I don't care. He bought a bike. What kind of bike did you oh, buy? Hang on a second. You were talking about an important topic. And no, I you guys who, clowned me for it. I, and Did you see me clowning? I, he was fumbling around like a fucking half a an idiot. I swear, I was listening. I was trying to fix that. Oh, it's going downhill for me. <laughs> Jeff, you probably regret having me back on, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Now I do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You called, I called you last night because I was having a really bad night last night. Yeah. And we talked about this stuff. I don't know what it was. Oscar, let him hold the mic now. Let, no, I can even, hold it. I can hold him. it. Don't even help him. I can hold it. It's fine. Bro, I called you last night. Yeah. Can I get this? Oh, Jeff, I'm sorry. You seem mad. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not. Just let Mike say what he wants to say. Let's get the conversation flowing normally okay. again. Because it's, well, it's okay the, if stuff like this happens. No, it's not. This it's a normal. podcast, Steven. This isn't man tits no, or whatever the show. hell you this call is... your show over there. People have to listen to people talk for an hour. This is not. It's a show, bro. It's a show. This is a show. It needs some structure. Okay. It needs but to be you wrote listenable. those rules, you know? No one. You can do whatever it's you want. It's not rules. It's just. Can I get the sad music? You, I, I don't touch that uh-huh. mic stand uh-huh. under any circumstance, bro. You now, don't. It's, I'm moving it out of my face. Okay. So I can Steven, stop fidgeting with I'm gonna get up and use violence. Look at me. I'm about, I'm back to this. What? He missed it though. He missed it. What? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Why is there a pause? We've had so many Why is people. There a pause? We've had so many people come on this show and nobody fks up like this. And you're a damn influencer. I had my friends that just got out of prison a week ago and they do better than you on a podcast. Look, now see I'm being mean and I'm being aggressive and I'm insulting him. And Last night. Okay. I'm good now. Can I get the music? Yes. I I I got back from the trip, uh, the one that I was trying to tell you about earlier, and 
I don't know if it was like a serotonin dump or something, but I was, I was just in bed for the past two days, just thinking really nasty stuff, bad stuff, dude. And I actually tweeted this last night. I said, sometimes it gets heavy for no reason. And that's just a result of the shit that I continue to deal with in my life and the stuff that me and you both combat with exercise and cold plunge and all the that we did today that we should talk about after. But, um, I, like, I was in bed all day yesterday and i got i finally got out last night and drove around i went up to this like overlook this like scenic overlook up in Col Coldwater canyon and i just whoa you were out like thinking about that no 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 i was just taking in the view i don't even think we could say all no, this what? shit what we're the joking fuck, about dude? How, how does everything keep coming back to that what you were you drove up Holy, to you I drove posted up to a, on my Instagram story. You can, can you pull my Instagram story up? Are you able to do that? You drove to a cliff and you just walked out and looked at it and then went back in your car? Is that what you're trying to say? I went up to the scenic overlook and I looked out over the city and I was just thinking, bro. Not the way you two do. I was just fucking thinking, bro. Yeah. Like, damn, man, like why am I so sad? There's no reason for me to be sad and I just was, you know? Like I think it happens to all of us from time to time. We all succumb to this to that heaviness of life, you know, of like not processing trauma. Yeah, every day's a new day. Sure, man. So then I fing called you and I was like, hey man, like I'm not feeling so good right now. And you told me that story that you told me a, a, that you said a few minutes ago about how you 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 were at a real bad spot mm -hmm. after your accident. And after, no, this was like or four after months surgeries, ago. whatever, yeah. like recently. And you told me some things that made me feel better and it made me it made me appreciative of our of our friendship again once again there's like so many times that i've been reminded how 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 grateful i am for our friendship you know you may, and then you made me laugh and said a lot of up funny shit. oh yeah, yeah yeah i said well you you used to be addicted to heroin yeah and now you you know you're at least Look, not doing that it could be way worse yeah that's where I was on the edge of a cliff last night. I kind of just regurgitated back oh, your viral real. clip where yeah. I was like, I, I basically just reminded you that you're not addicted to drugs anymore. You still have that addiction. You're fighting it every day and winning right now. So at least you have that. I just regurgitated back what you said in that TikTok that one time in the old impulsive set that looked like a race car bit. The blue <laughs> one, you know? It looked like SpongeBob's butthole. Yeah, who designed that? I don't know. You know what I would do if I was in a situation like that? What? You know what I always think of? What, what would the top G do? He would say you're being a mental weakling and you need to get your shit together. Right. And let's, which, let's which, which honestly, which honestly, let's touch on this for a second. In essence, that like kind of is it not not like leave him out of it, but also leave him in it. It kind of is good advice. Like you do really have to boss up a lot in life. Yeah. There really is like regardless of what you think about mental illness. Unlike him, I do think mental illness is very real. I think it's a very real thing. I think it can be chemically. Oh yeah. It could be. It could be drawn out by imbalances in your in your brain or whatever. It could be drawn out by traumas that have been unprocessed for a number of years. But at the end of the day, like mental illness is real. But you do have to boss the fuck up. You do. <laughs> Look yeah. at Aiden Ross. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I mean, he's 19 years old. He Whoa, just. <laughs> hold on. You, you need to have beef? No, have beef no, no, not at all. Come on, bro. Think Whoa, about it. what is this? It. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't think we we're going to use him as like the icon of like, <laughs> as like, of like mental acuity. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, you made me feel better, which was good. And I don't know where I'm going with no, this. No, no, it's all I good. It's all. It's, it, we had a good talk, but that's like, you know, we're real friends outside of here, too. Steven, when you left here, and chose to take your mental health break, what were some of the things that led to that? What was going wrong here that made you think, I need to stay away from this place? It's okay. Well, this is a large question, one more time. <laughs> Can you use it in a like, sentence? What made me well, want to you leave? chose to take a mental health break from here from and here. hang out with your new friends that things didn't go so good with. So what well, I was made you- hanging out with them. It wasn't just like I just go hang out with them. Well, what made you cut this side off and Go your own way. Oh my God. No, say it, because we need to know. The people should know, too. They watch us. The audience okay. deserves to know. Be honest. That's fine. Should we be honest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. I just felt like... And this is not true, definitely, but in my head at the time, I was like, do these people genuinely care about me, or do they just want to use me to embarrass me for content? And to, you know... For, what to make you know like the butt of the joke like they need that guy like it's, it has to be me like the comic relief yeah but like i didn't want to like be that guy anymore and i felt like whenever i said no to things it was like uh you were like george oh, in what's impulsive. wrong with you you're not you're you're, you're, you're you know you're, you were you're, like the george of impulsive yeah and like, it was like and now all of a sudden i have a huge true, ego and bro. i'm in my head and i'm not fun anymore and i was like all right Dude. i'm le i'm leaving then i don't enjoy this and i was just where i was at the time yeah but then you realize over time that you kind of had it all mixed up 
and you know you were the one that was showing your dick all the time and we never really <laughs> asked you to do that <laughs> you know? stuff is still. we don't watch this video if you want to react to it now sure yeah let's play it okay yeah. look at that guy look at that yeah. big fan I love that. That made my day when you sent me that. I, I missed out on the whole trip and I was kind of bummed, but when you sent me that, it did make up for a lot of it. I need to do that more often. I don't know why. There's only certain people that I like making their day. I like making your day. Yeah, I needed that when you sent me that. Some people, not so much. People are friendly over there in Australia, huh? So friendly. Hey, is it diverse is it, or is it all white guys with mullets? It depends on what city. There's so many mullets, bro. So many people have mullets in that in that country, dude. It's like the national haircut of the country. But it depends on what city. Some cities have a ton of Asians. Some people have... Honestly, like... There's Asian Cause a Yeah, because uh, Japan Melbourne. is close to yeah, Australia, Yeah, Melbourne has right? a ton of Asian people. But, but Gold Coast is like Jersey Shore. But, but just yeah. nicer beaches. But, dude, it's just super trashy. Like, tattoos. Fake just tans. Wife beaters. All that shit, Yeah, bro. and the mullet. It's pierced, like overly done. What? Yeah. Did you see any of those in real life? Yeah. <laughs> wow. How did that come about? I don't know really how to explain it. I mean, it's not like. But also the the co the uh, the collaborative conversation or like the related conversation of like. <laughs> I can't talk about this. Just try. Just it. like the idea of just like don't don't ever talk about this because I don't do this often. <laughs> but like you have a. There's. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe those two don't go hand in hand, but like, it just seems like if you have a pierce cut, you might do it. Yeah. Kind of occasionally. What is that least. something you did for yourself? You know, you go through all that pain through that sensitive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Body part just for yourself. Just to mark, like clearly mark your, like technically, if you think about it, like you wouldn't do that if you only had one partner because they would know. I don't. Know, We're going to have to censor that word for sure. What right? is a clip? If you ever really think about it, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever felt one before? <laughs> yeah, like hundreds. <laughs> hundreds? No, but kind of cool. Have you? Are you still bagging like a maniac out there? No. You gave all of it. I'm. Up. I'm a celibate now. Really? Like Aiden, Aiden Ross? Aiden Ross motivated me. <laughs> Bro, it's not funny. I just Aiden Ross is doing a great job. He has abs. He looks good. It's just I didn't expect you to bring him up I'm as like here. as like the as like the like icon of like as of like mental and physical health. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I didn't think like that was gonna be the guy that you were gonna go to as like the the standalone. How am I dick riding him? Oh, so did, did, he said something on stream about about you. He said something and he got like mad about it. He was like, F "You, Mike." I know. Uh, yeah, you were that. gone he for that. Like, it was yeah. back in the day during the pre pre arrest. Of tape. I want to talk about all this stuff, but now that we got his issues out of the way and we're yeah. clear on why this break happened and why he's back now, I think we yeah. should just hit the weather segment and get it out of the way. Yeah, let's get it out of the way. The weather segment. Oh, hello. Hey guys. <clears throat> you look real My, nice. The reason I look so different today is I've realized I'm, well, there's been a change in what I'm gonna do for the company. I'm no longer the weatherman, I am the HR rep, and someone recently within the company has said that they don't feel comfortable and they're not being appreciated enough. So we're gonna go around. <laughs> Who gave you this that, job? Who said that, that you could just switch job well, hold titles? On, hold, on. hold on, is that Steven? Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I saw the comments. Oh he yeah, Ryan's been day. Ryan's been killing it lately audience since he hates left. Me. He filled Shit. in and he's been crushing it. That's another reason I was like, all right, I'm not coming back then. The audience hates me. I'm like, why should I come back? He's one of my strongest <laughs> guys now. I'd say, he's yeah. probably at the top. Oh. <laughs> Look at this, what he's doing over here. What is this? <laughs> oh, what are you wiping off your hands well, there? Well. What do you got grease on your hands? You just go oh. work on a car? So, <laughs> the little trading rat. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to come back for little cheese pieces he left, huh? You forget some? It looks like somebody's not happy to have you back. The big, the big world too real for you, huh? The big world too real for you? You could do it on your own, huh? Had to come back for your little cheese bite? You, and you think the cheese. family's just gonna take you back in, huh? We kind of oh. did already. Well, we, did. Oh, we, we might as well just let any fat come back yeah oh, whoa, whoa, should we get whoa, him on the phone should whoa. we get joan on the phone bring him back in oh, whoa, what bro. we're doing now bro you don't even you don't even live here 
you chose to move back to your hometown oh, 900 miles away. For, yeah, back. thank you. What? I didn't choose nothing. Everything was forced. You were forced to move back home? So why, so why the fuck you back, huh? Put him on the screen. <laughs> yeah, he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know whose seat you're in? Cody's? Mine. Oh, no, you don't even really sit here in the That's studio. That's my seat now. I mean, you can take it. I was just... You gotta ask for it back. to come by. It's like... Ask for it back. I would just do what he says so we can get... Yeah, okay, yeah. do you want your seat back? That might not come out right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you to ask me for the seat back. Can I have your seat back? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's literally what you just said. No, but it still isn't right, I don't think. Can I have this seat back? I, are you doing a Cody impression right now? Can I have the seat back? That's all I want. I the just want some f***ing respect. Is that too much to ask for? Who are you? Do you respect them? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys want to do the HR thing, though? I just, uh, I saw Steven and got a little... Yeah, could sensitive. we? Yeah, yeah did so. you have a plan? Did you have a bit that you just yeah, scrapped? Yeah. So someone within <sighs> the company, I'm not allowed to say because I'm the HR rep, and uh, it's anonymous. Um, we're going to go around, and we're just going to see how everybody feels real quick. Just a quick second. So, Jeff, how are we feeling today? I'm actually doing good today. Real good. I had a good. nice, healthy day. I'm training nice. for a half marathon this okay, weekend. So I'm feeling Mike, like Mike, a well-oiled machine. Mike, 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 how are you? Mike, how are you? Uh, uh, bre I'm breathing, and I'm a little scatterbrained. Breathing, but scatterbrained. Drink well, OCD. At least he's honest. And uh, Kyle, Oscar, how are we feeling? Great. Good. Now, Just let's what? go around the room and everybody choose one person that they want to compliment. What about me? You didn't, do you want to ask him? I, or didn't, was that I didn't know you were going to, I didn't know you were going to be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so starting with Steven, choose one person you'd like to compliment and give him a compliment. <laughs> Kyle, I liked your outfit today. Wow. Very you, nice, Steven. Steven. Moving on, Jeffrey. Uh, I'll go with Oscar because I don't I don't really do this much. Oscar, I, I like your ability to learn. You're like a sponge and you teach yourself from the internet. And Isn't that I, I think true? That's good. <laughs> yes, you are, Oscar. You okay, know what? Mike. If you're gonna tell me to say nice things and then mock me, I'll jump through that fucking <laughs> screen. Mike, pick one person to give a compliment to. Uh, I'll pick Steven. Um, Steven, your skin looks very clear today, and you do. Yeah, you're visibly thinner and more lively. He, do, he looks like he has that children's wow. face My, filter from yeah. Snapchat. Yeah, he do. He's but jealous. Also, I'm a, Y'all are jealous but that I had Well, that I don't know. This, this was I don't know how comment. I was dragged into yeah. this. I just... Sorry. I, yeah. I'm very I'm very appreciative of the effort that you're making in your life to make her life a better place. Thanks, Mike. Great. <laughs> okay, Kyle, your <laughs> turn. A compliment? Yeah, pick someone. Uh, Steven. Hey. I missed you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and Oscar. I just picked Ryan because nobody picked him. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Your 75 day heart is uh, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, you, you got, some, you you some, got some problems, bro. You look like a serial killer <laughs> yeah, over there. Psychopath. You got any there friends we, up there in we, Utah? We, there we go. We did it. Everybody feels better. Now, the anonymous person that was not feeling appreciated at the company, hopefully you feel a little bit more appreciated. Did anybody not get a compliment? <laughs> and they no. want one? I think me and Jeff were both left out. I don't need no compliments yeah, I don't need from it. you, we're children. Yeah, we're okay, great. <laughs> All right, well, this has been the w the weather segment. Yeah, I see no, I'm sorry, like please. Is there any chance we could... I, I ask this every time, I'm sorry. Is there any chance we could actually get the weather? Is that ever po possible on this show? There's an ice storm hitting my state right now. I don't give a fuck about what's happening in Utah. Good, I hope I, your I, heat goes out. I hope your power goes out. <laughs> Did you guys not just learn... Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Now watch his power actually go out, and that was the last time we ever talked to him. Maybe that was his power. <laughs> oh yeah, could be, could be. Well, let's talk about what we what we did earlier because okay, I don't know. I get a little paranoid sometimes. And you took me to this health place that does like it deals with like uh, well, well, erectile hold on dysfunction. A sec. Let's, let's and pump pump the fucking brakes. Just pump the brakes for one second. Let's go through the day as a whole I don't, that, we don't really have time for all that but perfect let's go straight to the place you were just talking about we go to this health place and you brought you me know here. i'm sick of this shit. No, no, listen listen i'm sick of this fucking shit, dude i'm sick of all these fucking mother fucking podcasts that i i can't fucking talk on now you talk a I lot have a, i didn't say shit. everything i said was controlled by you yeah. you're the fucking state media you're hillary clinton look at the name yeah. on the wall dude i swear to god look at bro, the name i swear on the to wall. god because you want to know what happens you want to know what happens it happens on impulsive it happens on this show it happens 
let them talk. We, it's a podcast. We want to hear long form stories. You, nah. Logan, every, everybody, make it bite size. Nah. Make it for <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> make it like something Bryce Hall would say. It's a fucking podcast. I want to fucking tell a story. Let me tell a fucking story. Well, Why do you have me sit here if you want to just watch me people do somersaults? I come into the fucking six year old sitting on the fucking couch right here. I want to tell stories hey, about fucking threesomes. I don't give a <laughs> What's the fucking point? What's the point of all of this? I'll go back up to that cliff right well, fucking now. Well, think about it. Look at the name on the wall. Jeff FM. I'm the host of that. You, okay, sir, okay, are the bro. second guy in Impulsive. Whatever, bro. And you are basically the George of it. Show, Look, he walked. He walked. He walked. You know, is he going to come back in? All right, today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Dining hall food can only satisfy so many cravings. For the nights you absolutely need some Chinese food or the mozzarella sticks from your favorite off-campus pizza joint, use DoorDash. Get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with Dash Pass. Just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? So worth it. With zero delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide, Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. Dash Pass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less so you can satisfy those spur of the moment cravings or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. Dash Pass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more with the annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited zero delivery fees. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Jeff. FM23. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code JeffFM23. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM23 for 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. All right, now back on with the show. I'm sorry about my outburst, and, and more than anything, I can, I'll just say this really quick. You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. Bathroom boys, you didn't deserve that. More than anything, the audience didn't deserve that. Yeah. This is one of the, the greatest audiences on the on the internet, on YouTube. Smart, creative. You got people that bake cookies. They're just they're incredible, empathetic, and emotional people. And I'm sorry specifically to the audience for my outburst. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now and I haven't been, <coughs> no, I haven't it's all been good. well lately. It's all good. It happens. So Mike, you have sex with a lot of women. Do you view that as like a, you're like gaining medals? Because like when I do a race, I like get a new medal and it means nothing. But when I hang that up on my wall and I see it sometimes and it reminds me, I get a little serotonin boost. No, I get so the exact you, opposite. So when you like meet a girl. I feel terrible. When you hang out with people who are on the same kind of like wavelength, it, it's it's very a very symbiotic thing where it's like recreational. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not, there's no... It, not to be a dick, but there's no like chase. Like it's just two people who are like cool with life being like that. It's a very symbiotic like, oh, you're dope. You're dope. Like, let's f it out and figure out. I'm not saying that you're lying to these women. I'm sure they understand that you are going to go and, and do things the way you do it. They yeah. see your vlogs. You know, yeah, they yeah, know that sure. there's going to be a different girl in there next week eating the burger at the end. Yeah. But I'm just saying, do you like view it as like a little like success if you could rack up like crazy numbers? Nah. Like, what do they say? Will Chamberlain? He was yeah, the he was basketball the, like, player that had sex with over a thousand th women. No, I was more than that. Tens of thousands. How's it even possible? Tens of thousands. Magic you're not Johnson, even alive. Tens of thousands. You're not bro. even alive for ten thousand days. It does, that's like a full let's lifetime. Let's do the math. Let's do the math. I mean, if you do, if you if you put up. A thousand to fifteen hundred bodies. How many? How many would a thousand a year be? Let's just do days. So we got ten thousand days Wait, hold on. Let divided me, let me by three sixty-five. That would be twenty-seven years of having sex with a woman every day. How many women did Magic Jack? Magic Johnson got AIDS, so that's not great. So that and easy. I mean, it is possible. You'd ha but you'd have to be f***ing every day, or maybe you do two. A guy admitted to having more than three hundred sexual partners a year. So so three to three hundred to five hundred sexual partners a year. I guess three in there. I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near that. The bro. life you've lived since you started hanging out with Logan. That has. That's not it. Since you dated Lana. <laughs> that's not it either. It's been Will it's Chamberlain been NBA was, player since, numbers. It's been since I was very young, bro. Oh, you've I've been doing always, that since. Yes. Wow. Now, of course, how these women look may have never heard that before. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, so the, may the have level improved. yeah, it may have improved of, slightly. Wow. Potentially. Are you zoned out right now? It's a great no, I'm conversation. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about I don't it. because I'm I also, have I also, you ever had sex with your pillow growing up? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, think, I think your pillow is the first girl you ever <laughs> as a yeah. as a teenager. But but I got I got I got to throw this out there. I I 
especially on this program because there is such a heavy female listenership I, it's very hard for me to talk about this topic because it's I, I never wanted to at all ever sound like braggadocious or try to make it seem cool it's it's more of like an addiction that well, I'm, I'm not the entirely one proud of it out no i know but still it's just not something that I, that i feel super comfortable talking about i'm just trying to get a viral tiktok the way that i think about it is like truly like i i don't I want, I do want to settle down. I just unfortunately don't have, I've been saying this for years and I've never fixed it and like haven't done any work to make myself better, but I just don't have access to those emotions. I told you this last night, like I'm relatively numb to like any kind of like feelings of love or like. You just got to get out of LA. No, it was started way before that. Oh. Mine's not as simple as like, just like, oh, you, with the wrong crowd. Artistic a little? Artistic? I mean, I don't, I don't can't autistic. draw or any. Oh, Autistic. Didn't you guys get canceled for this? Let's not get into that. I think what you touched on there might be the problem. Loving people, that's like the the most important thing in life. If you don't love anything and you don't love anybody around you, then... I mean, I baseline love everyone. Like, I love you. I love Steve. I love people in general. And I'm very empathetic towards people and can feel for them and don't want ever to hurt anyone or to cause any trouble or anything like that. Uh, When I was in Australia, a girl asked me what animal... I like to consider my, or she asked me what my favorite animal was. She didn't tell me why she was asking. And I answered a chipmunk. And she said, why? And I said, because they don't cause any trouble. They're cute and they, you know, they're very humble creatures. You know what I'm saying? And she didn't tell me why, but after I told that story, she told me later on, the animal that you love the most is who you see yourself as and so in a lot of ways i see myself as just like a little chipmunk you know what i'm saying like okay running around just hoping everybody likes me you know hoping i'm cute enough for people to give a little bit of love to and you know if i got run over by a Taurus, like maybe somebody would scoop me off the ground and try to resuscitate me you know yeah maybe get a dog i miss having that like like nerf i loved unconditionally you know he never pissed me off he never f-ed around pissed messed up the microphone floor, yeah. even that was like okay you know yeah but yeah, I don't know. Like those emotions are important to go through. When's the last time you cried? When Crypto Zoo got exposed, <laughs> Puffyzilla? <laughs> no, actually, yesterday. Really? Yeah. On the mountain, on the cliff. Before that. When someone's sad around you, do you like playing sad music to like get them to cry? Does it make because it makes them seem like they're a real person? I was reading something yesterday that you should always fully realize your emotions when they hit, and you should never ever try to suppress them in any way so if you feel sad on a certain day feel sad like embrace really it. embrace the sadness for that day and if you cry l- literally cry like don't don't f-ing, in in those in. in those moments don't boss up don't well, that's don't, when you're like, most really f-ing let that f-ing out and, and and try to understand why you're feeling like that because i honestly it's f-ed up because i know i know like i put on this this like i try to put on like this pretty well put together you know personality online and stuff like that but as you know like i do struggle a lot with my mental health and with my happiness with my feelings of like self-worth emotion attachment to others like i just am kind of just like a f-ed up person and i really haven't done any work on myself at all and so like sometimes like i just i think like when i get back from those like these trips like this australia trip and i'm alone at my house just kind of like sitting there by myself for like days on end like i just get into a really bad headspace and i, I sometimes just have to f-ing just have that little breakdown when you feel those emotions like that like either crying or you know it could be a bad emotion you get in a fist fight your heart starts racing or something like that that's when you're most alive those are the memories that you're gonna remember you know all the that we're doing even fun things you forget like i'm sure you won't even remember that threesome you had in australia in like two years from now but you'll remember when we sat here and cried over nerf like one of the best memories i have was when we were in the hot air balloon and and, uh we spread the ashes and jumped out of it and that was such a dark memory but eventually i'm gonna look back at that one day and i'm gonna remember how i felt you just feel alive you know those like you said that was great advice if you're gonna feel sad fully embrace that cry let it all out is that nerf that tub no mm-hmm. that's not his ash it's a candle we spread his ashes out all over riverside california i've been thinking about the celibacy thing though well, i thought you kept some of his ashes we kept a little bit yeah what? yeah it's in what a secret oh. stash i held on to a little bit i don't know if that's weird but i don't think it's weird no it's like a piece of them whatever i don't, I don't want this is the time where i don't want to really feel like into the emotions but um yeah when's the last time you got in a good old fist fight when you push that kid that was f- Logan. 
That doesn't really count. Can you find that clip, Oscar? <laughs> where Mike went up and mushed the kid? Yeah. He said, get the f*** out of here. I don't think that really counts. No, I've probably been closer with fight to fighting, actually fighting Logan. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, a number of times, for sure. But like a stranger. Look at that. that makes not, sense. I'm so a friend. I, and I actually don't want to fight him because it, it would suck, bro, because he's pretty f***ing aggressive. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm just picturing him jumping <laughs> off his countertop at you, and you just move, and he and breaks his knee, his knee, his knee fucking goes out. Oh, here we go. Look, this is a good time. Oh, Logan mushed him. Oh, then Mike goes after it. <laughs> Logan Paul's boyfriend. <laughs> Nightingale. What are you doing at that fucking 19 year old club? Jesus, oh bro. <laughs> Why was he choking me? He was so. Up, look at him. What look the fuck? You. What the fuck is that? <laughs> hit it, hit it. What is this intimate Titanic style moment right here, bro? Like Logan Paul's boyfriend, whatever his name is, Mike. Whatever his name is, Mike. Oh yeah. Wow. Well, man, we're here. You know, we're back. The gang is back together. What's going on in the news? No, uh, hang, world, out, hang out, hang out, hang out. Because this is funny. Ky Kyle prepared. Oh. oh, yeah. The world is going crazy right now. We're all going to war. Oh, we're all going to die. Yeah, That's so scary. That. UFOs are all around. I, I are, just, are you guys going to fight in the war? Yeah, old. I would fight in the war. If we were old, fighting too. Russia, I want Islam Makhlachev. Me old. and him. <laughs> too old. And we could use weapons. You're going to go You're too old. You wouldn't go and fight. No, we're not country. allowed to, buddy. We're too old. We're too old That's to be drafted. Excuse. You can, it's not about I'm, excuses. I'm talking about drafting. Homie, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Winley go. Oh, just like, just try to embed uh, myself with the 101st Airborne. Like, you're hey, what's gonna up, guys? You're going to die sitting here, hiding, and we're going to get invaded and die, all okay. of us, or you're going to die tell fighting. You, let me tell That's you a, good. In let their me, country. Okay, let me tell you a quick story. Do, is there story time music? Maybe with war uh, yeah, in, influence? Yeah. Oh, dun dun, dun dun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. And then after Kyle, the baby. Pre Kyle prepared a presentation that he wants to get so into. So we don't get invaded. No, I know. If not, oh, you do? Oh, I'm very aware of like All right, we'll, kill, we'll kill the music, that's it. So I, oh, that's, what was it? Well, you said we were gonna get invaded. Well, redo that so we can- It's either a nuke or leave us alone and don't try it. Oh, we are you know protected what? by yeah. a moat Speaking that is of that, two oceans. The Navy. We are protected by two mountain ranges that are bigger than their mountain ranges. Mm -hmm. We are protected by a fleet of ships, a On the Pacific. set of jet fighters, the nuclear triad that makes other countries' weapon systems look like fucking battleship. You know the game you used to play like B2? Yeah. This ain't a f***ing game, bro. Our military spends more money than the next eight countries yeah. combined. Taiwan. There are only six countries whose GDP is worth more than our military spends. We do not get invaded. We do not get ass fucked. Steven, we do the ass f***ing. <laughs> oh. uh, okay? There's your TikTok. Your fear, uh well acceptable. Needs to just go back to Bryce Hall's house. Okay? I don't know. You know my roommate bought a thousand dollars. Now yes, that's problematic. Get, we, I, I, we can. Yes, we can be nuked. That's problematic. I feel good about our deterrent systems, but like that would suck if that happens on La Brea or fucking Hollywood, at, you know, Boulevard. That's gonna suck. That is gonna suck. I spent four point two million dollars on that. F in the house up in the hills that's gonna smolder into that's what ashes. you're worried about okay at least you still that's have the about. nft blockchain secure jeff i'm blockchain, so, I'm so blockchain serious. secure bro i don't play around with that stuff if we go to war i swear to god me and johnny johnny just invest he just bought a thousand dollars with the survival gear we are taking his jeep and we're, i swear <laughs> to god a thousand bucks no I, we're, we're taking a jeep and we're, and no, i swear to god listen is, we're, we're taking his jeep of the walking we're stocking up on gasoline right now we need some we're stocking up on water mres <laughs> i swear to god we're taking the jeep and we're going all the way to the east coast i don't know how to say this we're going back home steven i don't know how to say this in a nice way because i am proud of what you're doing but if i shortlisted the last people that i would <laughs> i would join up with if the world was ending well, bro i'm sorry dude I, I i'm very well trained with guns and i have a, some i play call i know i play video games i know how to <laughs> get common sense of where i'm at bro you can't even figure out a mic's hands how are you, how <laughs> are you can make out me okay <laughs> it broke not me what are you gonna what are you gonna cook MREs. 
I how swear to God, no, I'm not even trying to be funny. We, I swear to God, if we go to war, we're going to the East Coast, me and Johnny. How, we're many, MREs, Jeep going. how many MREs oh, do you have? A thousand bucks at MREs is not going to last you more than a month. What? How many yeah, MREs well, do all you All of have? your stuff that you bought, you bought, you spent all your money on gasoline, first of all. Oh, we didn't even, that was a joke. Where's the gas? Would you let me guess? Are you one of those people that fills a pickup up? It's, it's in our garage. garage. No, it's, it's in our garage. It's, we have a, a barrel of water. We have a, like eight. Gasoline tubs full with gasoline. Dude, I'm not to say this, but y'all are dead. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know hey, well, these are trying. That's a good. That's good. That is good. Cause I, cause I'll be honest with you, I have no gasoline. Dude, you're gonna be in your house <laughs> crying <laughs> because you can't find a wife. No, no. And I'm gonna be driving across the country, fucking preparing for war in Maryland. Yeah, let's do that new segment. I'm excited for it. For the presentation that Kyle prepared? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a quick trend on Twitter after the Super Bowl about ASAP Rocky being pregnant with Rihanna again with the second baby. And there was a cover on Vogue that revealed it. So it was this, right? And yeah. Twitter went crazy with it. I saw it. And was trying to call ASAP Rocky gay for his poses that he does with Rihanna. And it's called the Green Line Theory, right, Oscar? Something like that? Yeah. So basically it shows his posture and like... How his dick isn't showing in the picture and how Cock, he's leaning. Shame. Bro, there's, there's leaning no way, it. It. There's no way someone posted so this as if it was actually no, there's, a thing. There's a whole thing about it. Like, it, it goes on to like Will Smith, all these like public the uh, engagement on the post. Oh, damn. 20K likes. Crazy. Yeah. So Soft then, face. It's like a flex yeah. for them, though, that they Bro, have people making this about them. I don't know if maybe they saw this or not, but the article is about Rihanna. Yeah. Like, it says Rihanna reborn. So, what did they fucking want to do? Put her five feet behind the husband, like well, it was like we were in fucking what's it called? Like Russia? where they? Yeah, wherever uh, they do Saudi that. Saudi Arabia. This yeah. stuff goes beyond this picture, and not just. I understand, like you're saying, this is like a setup shot, right? And when what is he doing that's so bad? He's t caring for the fucking child that she walks like a. Fucking, yeah, I don't know. This who is fucking dumb. Yeah, that's weird, dude. I, no, 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 no. But this is so. Here's the thing. I'm gonna just say it like this. All of this. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I was gonna get to this. What? So, in theory, what is this? I wanted LSD to see today? if, um, you know, the <laughs> green light like theory, the green the light test, face. or the green light test <laughs> applied to you guys. So, go to the next slide. It appears that <laughs> Lana and I'm sorry, what's his name? Um, Emilio. What's yes. his name? <laughs> God, <Shane. laughs> yeah. So you guys are the submissive in this picture. And there's more examples I'll go through, primarily on Jeff. Strong, dominant woman. Take your guesses. Who's the alpha here? Who's the strong, dominant? <laughs> Probably, I think it would be me there because I'm the tallest. You think? All right, so next slide. It's actually Logan. Uh, beta. Yeah, you guys have 49% gay. No, no, it's 49, 49 degrees. 49 degrees Yeah, because you guys are okay. leaning towards Logan. Got oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Okay. Um, here's one with Tana. So who do you think would be the... Uh, I'm dominant there. I'm think? the dominant one, yeah. Well, I thought it was kind of sick. Yeah. Well, you actually are leaning <laughs> towards Tana right here. Oh. And you're touching her. Oh. And Tana's reserving her hand in the... You see right there. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. Um, there's more examples we can keep going through. You with Kendrick Lamar. Whoa. Yeah. Any guesses who's alpha? Um, <laughs> I... Uh, yeah. Okay, no. You watch this one again. No cock shame. No cock shame, no. What if but it's your hands are reserved. awkward hand placement. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was a step right. I was almost at cock shame. Yeah, those hands like that. Here in the you little huddy. No way, I lose the little huddy. No way. Unfortunately, you do. <laughs> You're leaning towards the little huddy here. Uh, little huddy's hand is relaxed. Awkward try hard hand posture. Yeah. Who made this? Uh, it was just like an AI program. Leaned in beta posture. Yeah. Strong dominant masculine man hand. Oh, okay. This was a trick one. All right. Oh, oh, me, oh, me oh, and shit. my name Jeff Channing Tatum. Yeah. Any guesses? Who's the alpha? Me, for sure. I'm yeah, taller. Jeff. Let's see it. You guys are both beta. <laughs> but Jane Tatum is more beta because he's hiding his hairline. I, in his defense, it was a five-hour flight. He just got off, and he didn't want to take a picture there. But I was like, yo, the My Name Jeff meme is going crazy right now. My name's Jeff. My Instagram is Jeff. Can you just do this? And he was like, yeah, of course, man. Love your vids. <laughs> I didn't, he didn't say the last <laughs> part. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's all. He had just woke up. It was a long flight. Book. All right. Why do you find all cock shame pictures? <laughs> I'm cock shaming right now. <laughs> the f man. It's just so crazy. I saw that too, and it's like the the narrative of like people online to create drama out of anything is just so strong. The liberals actually create drama in this situation. Like, 
someone actually created fake drama. Like, that was not real, bro. Yeah. It was just a picture of the fucking dude carrying a baby, bro. Yeah, he's a dad. He and, got they, and they created wife a... Wife pregnant. You're gay. That's gay, gay bro. You got bro. your wife pregnant. That's What's wrong gay. with you? You should be less gay, have less babies. Yeah, I thought that was corny. But there's more examples on this thread that are just beyond this it probably cover. went. It probably went viral because it's so ridiculous. What if the alpha is the person leaning because they're protecting... No, so no, no, no. It so does, it's it's like all about no. natural posture. So these are like pictures yeah. caught, you know. It does make sense. But subconsciously, look I was protecting look Kendrick. Yeah. So yeah. Like, look at me you're protecting. <laughs> For example, when you're in a room, look at everybody's feet. Who's everybody's feet pointing at? <laughs> Just stick out. <laughs> T-pose. <laughs> the straightest guy around. <laughs> That's how <laughs> you stick out all the time. <laughs> The media is trying to depict black men as incompetent. They can't lead. They can only be led by a woman. ASAP Rocky's not smart. Like, who writes <laughs> this shit? Context. Who writes and, 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 this and, shit? And Aiden Ross is trimming. Who like, actually writes this <laughs> Like, bro. There's this girl that gets pitched to me on Twitter all the time now. I got I gotta find her, bro. I gotta, I gotta say this. Who's Let pitching me, you on Twitter? No, no, no. I can scroll for a minute and they'll have her it in my feed bro has anybody's feed gotten ridiculous since since elon took over you know what i get now you know what i always get i get fights tons oh, yeah. of fights the street fighting yeah street fighting constantly and the problem is is i like watching them. yeah i'm about to get on twitter now because of that it sounds, sounds right up my alley. Fights. that's where i found that video joe oh well of steven it looked like steven fighting kyle okay can you play it here yeah let me, let me pull it up mike you got to see this video it's so funny i gotta go Okay, can you, you just watch this last video? Yeah, gotta, this, is, this is Steven versus Kyle. <laughs> oh, that dude's got. Oh my god! Steven, what's the point? That's the exact. It's a weird bit. Damn, that dude's got great fucking. Um, Look at this. Yeah. See, everybody's the same size when you're on the ground. Dude, that dude's like a little fucking rodent, dude. Alright, how much more? So I gotta walk. Oh, like, 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 two, like, two more seconds. Two more seconds. Right now, right right now look. There you go. Armbar. The little guy El won. El Damn, Steven, you got your ass beat by Kyle. Yeah, he don't like that. Oh, bit. Whatever. It's more like Ivan. <sighs> this was a nice therapy session for all of us. It's, a, it's the sucky part about it is like I just I feel like we all just started firing right now but I have a massage you jerked off? I don't know it sometimes depends if they ask do you actually go to this? It is it is one of it's it one they of sometimes do ask what do they go, say? do you know when they go to like no. get those? no? no I go to the same place all the time just to get a massage you just, just, to get a, a massage. just to get a massage yeah they tickle your nuts they don't go tickle underneath. my nuts or go underneath at all <laughs> but in that Australian Wait, threesome dude one was one of the girls was licking my butthole Wow. Wait, that didn't make sense. You were just saying sometimes you. What? No one that. tickles my nuts, Steven. They, they do it from they, behind. That's they, how they get you no, going. They, they tickle my, your nuts. I, my person doesn't. They oh, f***ing just suck. take f***ing lube and f***ing double no, gluck gluck 9000. That thing. And she says, do you suck your says dick? something. Don't worry about it. She sucks it? No, she doesn't suck what it, Steven. Why are you after your celibate? You said oh, maybe you're so excited because you're celibate. I jerked on like three, four times. What are you watching? That's what two things I haven't quit. What are you watching? and vaping. I still do both. What are you watching? VR, VR porn. All right, let's wrap it up. Guys, that's it for the show today. Leave your thoughts down in the comments, your thoughts on Steven, if you want him back, uh, some things he could improve on, improve on himself. No, I'm just kidding. That would just fucking ruin his mental health. Guys, be nice. No, I already don't like the good comments. So I'm be nice look. down in the comments. Uh, I forgot to say it when Ryan was here, but like when Steven was like, uh, when Steven left is when <laughs> Ryan texted him. Like that episode was the one that Ryan texted him. Yo, Dude, Steven. Why did you do that? Yo, Steven. <laughs> I would have never looked. Mike, you hear that? Oh, yeah. The one episode Ryan was on here and the guy got like a bunch of hate comments like how he's better than me and all this stuff. And then Ryan, 
I would have never looked at that. And then Ryan texted me randomly like, hey, man, just want to let you know that. Sorry about it the last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know all the, the, the comments were harsh. Like, Why would you say it? Like, you're rubbing <laughs> it in my face. He looks at and all. And I go look at it. I'm like, great. I'm never going to come back on here. <laughs> Ryan, uh, the greater than Steven, all that Listen, shit. They, they can hate up. all they want. They can say whatever they want. I'm never going to see it. So you're wasting no, your time. Steven, no, it's we'll like get- a bit. The audience is also very smart and funny, and they use sarcasm back at us. So they're kind of doing that now to play. You're picking up it on it now you're picking up yes yeah they're smart they're funny i mean this audience specifically so they're just kind of joking with us you know they're not laughing at us they're laughing with us so just at your expense and ryan's a <laughs> solid you know he's, he's bro been, the audience he's, loves he's, ryan he's and by been, the way for good reason the dude's fucking hilarious oh yeah no, he's he great. brings he it every it. time there's a lot of times where, like i'm gonna be honest like i rate i would rate my performance today if i had a report card poor I bet I'm just not having the greatest day. You called me. You said, can you do a show? Transitioning from weather to psychic. That sounds like she was. I thought you were going to say something else. You called me. You said that the podcast today. uh, Yeah. I I just come on. All I try to do is the best that I can. That's it. I got to go to this massage. (laughs) <laughs> get a hand job <laughs> you yeah, dog. it's a massage you dog, bro. Bro. Look, we all we all have our roles Persons. we all have different personalities we don't all have roles he, differences he's been working out bro yeah well <laughs> we are a a cast Gnarly. here we're an Gnarly. ensemble we're a group can you walk me downstairs you know if you just had a bunch of justin timberlakes <laughs> in and sync it never would have lasted can you walk me down we can't just have a bunch of jeffs here you know that's what i'm saying and that's it for the show guys thanks for watching he used to be out on the corner he was dealing in drugs got himself a barber's chair and gave off yeah, some cuts Steven. he's a podcaster his life he'll talk about it and with mike us. and now it's jeff and the bathroom boys and jeff